Hello, this is Helen Linda again with our first presentation of week two of the D4L content creation module on the importance of organizing content before recording. What are the benefits of organizing your content? As with any instructional session, you'll first decide on goals and objectives or outcomes for your content as part of the planning process. Developing measurable outcomes was discussed in the foundation module. Ask yourself, what do you want your learners to know or be able to do as a result of watching your content? Identifying your desired outcomes will help you map out what you'll cover. Think of the script and storyboard as a static textual and visual outline for the dynamic content you will create. Both are important, but depending on your natural level of comfort with writing or visuals, it can be easy to end up with a final product that is unbalanced in favor of one medium or the other. By taking the time to consider both equally in planning, you end up with more even content. This process will help you see the content unfold before you invest a lot of time in creating and recording. It will be much easier to move components around to ensure a logical progression and, if needed, chunk the content into more focused pieces. Remember to start with the most important information first so they see it up front, even if they are unable to complete the tutorial. Why should you script it out? Try winging it one time and you will understand why it's important. You want content that is concise and not rambling, and scripting will help. Keep in mind that entertainment is not the primary goal of any tutorial. The content should be simple, nicely designed, and straightforward. Finally, some projects may require you to demonstrate your planning process, especially when reviewers are involved in development. Storyboards are a highly visual, low-risk way to demonstrate your process and your content for stakeholders and decision makers before you invest a lot of time in creating a product. Whether you start with the script or storyboard and what tools or other methods you use largely depends on your personal creative process. Just remember, this process is meant to organize your mind and your content your way, so there's no wrong way to do it. If you're a more visual thinker, you may find that coloring or drawing elements of your topic is a good place to start. If you're more textual, sticking to lists and outlines might work better. Or, and this is most likely, you will find that a mix of methods works for you depending on the topic. And there are lots of tools and apps out there to help you if you don't typically work freehand. As long as the activity helps you meet your learning objectives and prepares you to create content, then how you get the gears cranking is up to you. For people who like to organize their thoughts visually, flowcharts and mind maps can be a great way to get all of your ideas in one place using your personal creative process. Flowcharts are typically used to show the individual steps of a process and the decision points you might make in that process. It can be a great tool for organizing your thoughts around teaching something step by step. Mind maps are a little more freeform, designed to help you take a topic and explore all possible subtopics, or a process and any possible subprocesses. These are great for a non linear idea, to help you be sure you've thought of everything, or to narrow a topic to a more manageable chunk. As you can see from these examples, the results can be simple or complex, analytical or freeform. This can be a great way to start organizing your thoughts if you tend to think in pictures. For people who like to organize their thoughts textually, you may find it easier to start with a text outline or list to collect your thoughts. An outline highlights or summarizes content at a high level. These are very flexible and used in a lot of circumstances. For instance, you are probably familiar with meeting agendas, which are outlines of the meeting content. Even more simply, you can list all of the elements you can think of and begin looking for structure and patterns in the listed items. These structured textual thoughts and lists can form the basis of a more narrative description and script when you combine your visuals with text. 
If you're collaborating, type up your notes in a collaborative tool like Google Drive. All content creators can access it from anywhere. Once you have the narration, you can wordsmith it to make it just right. Once you've worked through your topic as completely as you need to, you're ready to turn that topic into a cohesive plan through storyboarding.